guys, it's Nikki and today I'm oh, f- Hey guys, it's- <laughs> Cause I, I turned it, okay. Hey guys, it's Nikki and today I'm going to talk- uh, blah, blah. Okay! This normally goes a lot better. <laughs> hey guys, it's Nikki and today I'm going to be talking about my favorites for the month of November. November! <laughs> so, my first item is the um, Nature Republic Aloe Vera Soothing Gel that I got back when we were in Hong Kong. It was like our last night and I just wanted to use up the rest of my Hong Kong dollars. So I borrowed a little from my brother and then I bought it and I've been using it since then and it's been really good at everything. So I use it after I shave, I use it when my hair is being really really dry. Um, I use it when my skin feels really dry and it's been working really well to hydrate my skin and make it look not terrible. <laughs> so my next favorite is this EOS lip balm that I got in SNR in a pack of five. They don't usually have it in stores here unless they have it in Roostans and I just didn't know that they did. But yeah, I found it in SNR. It was on sale. I gave one to Dan, one to my brother's girlfriend, and the one I'm using is the Honeysuckle Honeydew scent. Flavor. Flavor scent! I don't know. But yeah, it's really good for every day. But if your lips are really, really chapped, then you should probably use something stronger because this isn't really that great in like insanely hydrating your lips like just for every day it's fine but if they're really really chapped then use a stronger lip balm but other than that i really like it it smells really good so yeah i really like that one so my next favorite has been this pouch that i got from team manila and i'm not sure if i bought this one or if someone gifted it to me but i really really like it i've been using it as my wallet because the last wallet I was using got stolen and it was vintage and it had my cards and it was for my mom and it was really really nice and the person who stole it probably just threw it away afterwards anyways. Ugh, sentimental value. I feel like it's better than bringing an actual like a really nice wallet because when you're in USD it's the possibilities of someone snatching your stuff is really high and I really don't want to get a nice wallet stolen again. Not that I wouldn't be sad if this wallet got stolen because it has this really cute keychain that I got from Alex. She um, brought it back from when she was in the States a few years ago, I think. She gave a bunch of people these keychains with Hollywood on the back and your name in the front. And it looks like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So you feel like you're on the Walk of Fame, but you're not. So don't feel special. Speaking of pouches and bags and stuff like that, I've recently been going to a bunch of advertising seminars and I went to a youth congress and stuff like that and I've been using this envelope clutch to lug all my stuff around because it's convenient and it's really classy because it's just a plain leather envelope pouch so it looks good with anything and if you don't want to carry it anymore then you can just dump it in the bag that they give you with all your freebies and stuff because every time you go to one of these things they give you a loot bag full of stuff from the sponsor so if I don't want to carry my clutch anymore then I just stick it in that bag and I don't have to worry about it anymore that's really been convenient for me I don't know why I'm talking so slow <laughs> Next one. if you know me in real life I don't really wear shades at all I don't really like them they irritate my nose bridge and I don't know I just never really found I use for them. I mean, I know that you're supposed to wear them to protect your eyes from UV and it's not really just a fashion statement kind of thing. But I've just never really found a pair that I liked until I saw these ones. I actually got them as a pair to use for my glasses, but then I found another pair to use for my glasses, so I ended up keeping these just as shades and now I use them in the car when it's too bright outside or I'll probably use them when it's summertime again because right now it's the trying to be cold rainy season even though it's not that cold. It's so hot. So yeah, I've been really really liking these shades and the frame is really nice. It suits my face, I think. I think. I mean, circle frames are pretty good for most face shapes. So anyone could really pull it off. I got this pair from Artwork. They were on sale. 
that day, I think, and that's probably why I bought them in the first place because sale. <laughs> Cheapo alert. <laughs> in school, basically, I have to wear a uniform because that's how USD likes to roll. So I have to wear a uniform, and my only options in terms of exploring fashion and what I wear is bottoms, but they still have to be black and maybe like jackets and sweaters and cardigans and stuff like that. But basically all you can wear are black slacks, jeans if they don't look like jeans, and black skirts. So I've been wearing this this specific pair of shoes that I also got on sale because cheapo alert again. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing this pair. They're a slight platform, but like it's enough to make me ever so slightly taller which is better in all situations because I'm really really short and it's good when it floods because they're high and I don't have to dunk my feet in flood water all the time I've been using this pair consistently for the past few months like ever since I got them I've been wearing them every time I have to go to school and they look really nice and the guards don't stop me from wearing extravagant shoes so I mean I guess if you can call them extravagant most people don't really care about what they wear but yeah, I've been really liking these shoes. They're really comfortable because they're not at an angle, like they don't really have a heel. But they're high, so they make me tall, so... No heel plus height equals all good things in the world. So one of the songs I've been listening to lately is in the Korean pop genre. I know not a lot of people listen to Korean pop, but this one is really good. It's the debut single of Hai Soyeon, I think that's how you say it. It's called Nanandala or I'm Different. It's really fun. The beat is really catchy. The lyrics are really catchy. And the guy in it is pretty cute, I guess. Ah, but he's younger than me. I'm pretty sure they're younger than me. They're all younger than me because I'm old. But yeah, basically the three of them, Lee Hai, Soyeon, and Bobby, they all won Korean singing contests. Except for Bobby who won a rapping contest. And that's how they made their debuts in Korea. Soyeon is in a duo called Akdong Musician or Akmu and Lehigh is a solo artist. So if you're not really into K-pop but you want to get into it or you want a song to change your opinion about it being annoying or whatever, then you should give the song a listen. I'll link it in the description below. So that's basically it for my favorites for the month of November. If you guys want to see Dan's favorites, She'll be making a blog post about it, which I will link in the description or here. I don't know what, where you can see. Next month, she'll be filming her favorites for the month of December, and I'll be making a blog post, so be sure to look out for that. So if you guys like this video, be sure to subscribe for more, and leave us a comment down below about what you guys really liked last month. And we'll be sure to read all of them and reply to all of them. And yep, yeah, all our social media links will be down below. If you guys have an Instagram, mine is the Nikki D. And follow me if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. Whatever, I ain't your daddy. Uh, so yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye. In other news, we finally worked out our schedules, and we'll be uploading videos once a week, probably every Thursday. That's usually what we've been doing now. Whenever we have a chance to upload something, it's on a Thursday. So every single week, starting December, every Thursday, you'll be getting a new video from us. And who isn't excited about new videos? No one! Because new videos are awesome. <laughs> videos. <laughs>